Carrie came out in 1976 and is based on the book by Stephen King. It's directed by Brian De Palma and it stars Sissy Spacek. So Carrie's about a, a young girl named Carrie who um, is not very liked at her high school. Uh, everyone makes fun of her and her mom's kind of insane. Uh, she is very religious and she believes in God. She's always praying. And she grew Carrie up to be very sheltered. So um, the opening scene of the movie is Carrie in the um, the locker room showers, and she ends up getting her period. And all the other girls begin to make fun of her, laugh at her, uh, throw uh, female hygiene products at her, just making her really uncomfortable. And she doesn't know what the period is, so she just freaks out. And then the gym teacher, Mrs. Collins, comes in and tries to settle everything down and help Carrie out. So throughout most of the movie, um, we see Miss Collins standing up for Carrie, making sure she's okay at school. And we also see um, this girl named Sue and this guy named Tommy also trying to help out Carrie. So after the locker room scene, Sue decides that she feels bad for Carrie, and she asks Tommy to ask Carrie to the prom to make her feel better, try to get her to fit in with some of the other kids at school. So eventually, Tommy asks Carrie to prom, Carrie said no, because she thought it was a joke. But then Tommy keeps asking, and eventually Carrie says yes. But when Carrie's mom finds out, she tells her, no, you can't go to the prom, they'll all laugh at you. And Carrie decides this is her time that she really needs to get out of her bubble and start meeting new people, make some friends at school. During the whole movie, uh, whenever Carrie does something wrong or her mother thinks that she's done something wrong, i.e. with the, um, the period scene, uh, she makes Carrie go in the closet, this dark little room with this uh, little statue of Jesus, she makes her pray, and pretty much we can clearly see why Carrie is not very normal and how really um, isolated from the real world she is because of her mother. So eventually we get to prom, Carrie's having a nice night with Tommy, but we see throughout the rest of the film that um, all the other kids have been planning a prank on Carrie when she's at prom. So they put this bucket of pig's blood above the stage, they rig the prom king and queen votes so that Carrie is bound to win, and when Carrie's on stage finally enjoying what's happened to her, finally felt like she caught a break, they dump the pig's blood on her, and after that everything just goes completely wrong. Early on in the movie, we actually learn that Carrie has telekinesis, and she can move things with her mind, so um, through some little events, we see her moving like a little bowl that has cigarettes in it, she cracks the mirror, and during the climax of the movie at the prom, once they pour the blood on her, she just snaps, and she starts pretty much just killing everybody. Um, she gets a fire hose, starts spraying everybody. She pretty much just tears down the whole auditorium, lights it on fire. And nobody survives that night except for Carrie, until she gets home. The movie ends with Carrie returning home after prom, and her mother decides that Carrie should have never been born and that she needs to kill her because having Carrie herself was a sin and she's disappointed God or whatever. So she eventually stabs Carrie in the back and Carrie then pins her mother to the wall with a bunch of knives and kills her. And then the house collapse, collapses as Carrie dies and I'm pretty sure the house just sinks right down to hell. And then that's pretty much the end of the movie. So the main thing that I was um, focused on in this movie was just some of the scenes. They were very well made. Um, one of the scenes that comes to the mind is when all the girls have detention after they pranked Carrie in the locker room. Um, as they begin to work out with the gym teacher, the music um, starts, it's very fast, and then as they start losing energy, as you can see, the music gets slower and slower, and I just thought that was a very well-made scene, and that the cinematography was done very well as it followed all of the girls just doing push-ups or running in place or whatever it might have been. Another good scene is when Carrie and her mother are at dinner and the power goes out. So pretty much all we see is lighting from thunder flashes and they're arguing, things are getting heated up. It's just a very suspenseful scene 
And I also thought that scene was very well made. And finally, uh, the climax actually had a very good shot where all you could hear was the bucket hanging from the ceiling, dripping with blood. You could see all, everyone's reaction to when the blood poured, but the only thing you could hear was the constant swinging of the rope and a clank of the bucket. And that was a very powerful scene because you could see everyone either laughing or freaking out, but you just kept hearing that same noise over and over, and it really made a powerful scene right before Carrie eventually ended up killing everyone. The acting in this movie is very good, um, mainly the mother, played by Piper Laurie. She just really conveys this just crazy person, obsessed with God and just very concerned about religion. She's always praying, and she really creates like a suspenseful and honestly scary character to watch throughout the film. Carrie's character is also very interesting to watch. Sissy Spacek does a great job um, making Carrie feel very meek and small. Um, you really feel for the character and you, you don't want all these bad things to happen. Another thing that I uh, really liked in the movie was the comparison between Mrs. Collins, the gym teacher, and the rest of the psychotic teenagers. Uh, Mrs. Collins was always there for Carrie and it was honestly a really heartwarming few moments at the prom or just whenever she tries to get Carrie to feel better about all the bad things that's been happening to her as opposed to the teenagers who are constantly making fun of her, play just really cruel pranks and honestly are just psychotic. Overall, uh, this was one of the better movies I've seen for this class. Um, very easy to watch. Uh, the plot moved very uh, nicely. It was very easy to follow. And it did a very good job at being a horror movie, which is what Carrie is supposed to be.